The bigger challenge will be money. How will this next journalism be financed? There will be multiple sources. It will not be as advertising driven as our journalism was before. And we will pay for more of it. Consumers will pay for more of it. In much the same way as the first video we saw this afternoon. The thing formerly known as advertising will become tools to help us shop, compare, save. Local media will be allied with local businesses in a war against Amazon and Google to make sure that we continue to have stores in our communities. We won't have any more banner ads. That's a good thing. 450 newspapers today charge for digital subscriptions. None did three years ago. For this to work, journalism is going to have to have more value, be more convenient, work for you in your life, so you will actually pay for it. There will also be privileges to membership. The Orange County Register set up a system earlier this month in which if you subscribe to the newspaper, you get free tickets to the Angels games. Why? The Angels have 20,000 un unsold seats every day. <laughs> but when they're free, it's easy to go. The Angels make money on the hot dogs you pay for. Uh, and uh, they're selling a lot, they're giving away a lot of tickets every day. There are measurable sources of new revenue. <coughs> Newspaper circulation was up 5% last year for the first time in a decade. There was $3 billion in new e-revenue, marketplace tools to help you do things. Money that didn't exist uh, uh, a year ago. $3 billion, by the way, that's half, the, half of the size of the music industry today. There's a long way to go. But I believe that what disrupted the news industry will now save it. And that is you, the changing audience. The people who found Craigslist are now finding a better way to get news and are finding better news. But we still need the news to be trustworthy, to be reliable. There was an old saying, journalism is only good as the person who owns the printing press. Now, journalism will be as good as your curiosity.